First year, second year? This is technically my fourth year, but second time I've cosplayed mostly. <laughs> okay. Most of the time you just kind of go Yeah, just kind of come and, you know, wear like, you know, a, a few shirts that represent the, you know, the dorky side of me, but yeah, first time I've kind of gone full out. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty sick. <laughs> Thank you. Just, you'll see in the highlight video. Good this year? It's very good. It's solid. Um, quick turnaround this year, as you know, so like, you know, I think the, it feels less crowded than it was uh, last time in October, but still very, very worthwhile coming to. Because October it was on. It was, it, it was here. Oh, it was here as well? Yeah, we went there actually. We came into the first Canada place and they were like, oh no, move next door. <laughs> so it's like, oh, okay, long, at least it was just across the street. But I think people are just kind of just getting used to it. I mean, I think it's a good choice to have it in March. There's, you know, more chances of yeah, good weather and everything. That's true. A little bit, little bit warmer. A little yeah. bit. When it comes to Vancouver weather, it's a little bit warmer. Right. Well, we got lucky last time in October. So it was very nice like this. But uh, no, it, no, very good. And I look forward to next year for sure. In your opinion, which fandom is the best? I don't follow too many, but like, I mean, the Marvel fandom is obviously huge. Oh, I mean, like, they, I'm not like super like hardcore into them or anything, but it's always fun watching like the you know the the debates going between you know DC and Marvel and just you know Disney as well and everything. I mean, like, I'm a Marvel fan as you can tell for sure, and we did like the. Marvel vs. DC photos just over there last time okay. and there was one thing we could really agree that DC did better which was organizing a photo better because there was like about a hundred at least of us all cosplaying oh. so it took forever to get that picture together and then the DCs there's about maybe like 15 or 20 so it took them like a minute so it's like well they can do they can do that pretty good <laughs> but, uh, I gotta find that somewhere on the <laughs> Yeah, they were very good pictures, but uh, I don't know, the fandoms, yeah, Marvel, the Marvel DC fandoms are really cool to just watch, you know, compare and everything, and, you know, both have their, both have their absolute strengths that should definitely be appreciated. Yeah. He's yeah. super tall, the camera makes him look <laughs> short. I'm like, yeah, my neck that. hurts looking at I work in front of a mic a lot as well, actually, so I just always having to kind of just... Oh, great. This, this, thing, this, this thing's sensitive as heck, so... Oh, that's good. I'll, I'll grab, like, pretty much cool, this whole thing. That's area. convenient, considering we're out here. <laughs> if you could have a choice of any two universes crossing over, which two would you pick? Which two would I pick? Which two? Would I'm using Marvel as my cop out here, aren't I? Yeah. It's like my trump card. So, I love the Marvel versus DC, like, Capcom freaking uh, arcade. Oh, those are awesome. Those are wicked. I love doing that. Like, Wolverine versus Iron Man, like, what? Yeah, not saying it would be like epic or anything, but I don't know, seeing like Star Wars and Marvel crossing over would be definitely something interesting. So like really, like really different. Something super different, yeah, because you know, like you never know, like something so different from each other, like could maybe just make like the coolest thing. It could fight, fail. Fight, fight, it, it could, could fail miserably. Yeah, but, or it could work. But hey, you never know until you try. We know that's never probably gonna, never gonna happen. No, but, no. Yeah. You know, dare to dream, right? What is the like most geekiest, nerdiest thing that you've ever owned or I thing mean, that you've done? From events like this, like I'm a huge Pokemon nerd, like that's absolutely, <laughs> there's a nerdy thing about me, that is me, like Pokemon, Pokemon and me, like hit it, way hit back. under this cape, I'll tell Pokemon. You, <laughs> under this cloak, cloak. <laughs> Col sorry. Benedict Cumberbatch says, cloak gets offended yes. if it gets called a cape. Yes, 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 sorry, I apologize. <laughs> okay, but here, I'll tell you the absolute dorkiest thing about me, this is 100% me, so like, Pokemon and I go so far back, like all the generations, like the later generations I still play and everything, but like, Here's the thing, like, you know, like, in the Pokedex and everything, in Pokemon, like, you know, like, in, like, the games, they have, like, their sounds, their battle cries. Yeah. If you pulled out, like, an app that played, like, all those battle cries without me, like, looking at any of the Pokemon, you just play me the sound of the Pokemon, no and way. I can name you them all. From Generation 1 to 2, absolutely. No way. You can just pull it out and be, like, you hear, like, the Pokemon sound, like, oh, Charizard, oh, uh, Venusaur, oh, Alakazam. Seriously, You could just wow. play those, and I'd so be, like... It's not the Pokemon saying its name, it's like the sound the sound they make in the games. What? That's without doubt the most dorkiest thing about me. <laughs> so then you must have all like the Game Boy... I play, my sister and I traded off against Pokemon Red and Blue. Oh my Then gosh. I played Pokemon Yellow. That's awesome. Silver and Crystal. Then I took a break for a while, but then I came back in Gen 4. <laughs> Pokemon bed sheets? No, but a few, uh, few Evolution plushies. So was Pokemon Go, like, was it good? Was it good? It was good to start off with. Um, I stuck with it, you know, for a decent long time, but I don't know, things just get so busy in life, of course. Yeah. I mean, I don't have time to walk around for two plus hours, you know, yeah. wandering around the place aimlessly. And then keeping track of everything that pops up. Or right. Yeah. Yes. It does take a, like, it does life. take a lot of your time. You'd have to have a lot of spare time to make, like, yeah. to go part of that. No, that's true. I, I still see people gathering. Oh yeah, apart when Legendaries first yeah, released, yeah, yeah, like there was like I remember I was back in my hometown of Saskatchewan when Legendaries first released. You know there was like a Lugia like Pokestop yeah. at the gym, and like there was at least a hundred of us there, and like people of all ages. There was like a oh, yeah. like a couple. There was myself and some people my age. There was an elderly couple there, yeah. a family of like five or six with the moms and dads all of their oh, phones yeah. all 
and, and everybody's like car. talking to each other, making friends. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's crazy. So how did you guys meet? Uh, Pokemon, Pokemon Go. Go. Yeah. <laughs> cool, man. Awesome, thank you. No worries. That's sweet. <laughs> I think Scorpius got only a few lines in the, in the movie, really. Get over here. First time here, second time here? Uh, this is my first time here as a guest. I was an attendee here about four years ago. Oh, why guest? Uh, cosplay guest, actually. Uh, ah, yeah. so you're over there, okay. Yeah. Is this your only costume you brought here? Uh, uh, no, happy. no, I brought uh, the robot from Lost in Space. So I'm getting that around a little bit. Okay. And Snake Eyes from G.I. Joe. And I think we got you a Snake Eyes. Okay. And then I'm doing uh, Donatello from the Ninja Turtles tomorrow. Oh, sick. We want to see that. Like, it was a whole foam. Yeah, so I did the undersuit with the upholstery foam and then skinned it with some stretchy material. So Dude, how long did that take? Uh, that was probably, I'd say, a couple weekends, but late nights. In your opinion, which fandom is the best? Uh, they're all pretty good. Everybody. Like, which, what do you like? What do I like? Most. Uh, I'm all over the place. Like, I'm a big Mass Effect fan. Um, I'm a big Mass Effect. I've done some cosplay from that. I like all the 80s stuff, so like, I'll do a Skeletor and like, Snake Eyes. Mumra from Thundercats, so I do a lot of 80s stuff. Okay, okay. 80s was good. Yeah. 80s, early 90s, 80s. Did you get a close up of his eyes? It's confusing the crap out of me. I'm looking for a pimple, there is no pimple. There is. Koopo, Koopo. Sorry, I said that wrong. Okay, if you can pick two universes yeah. to have them cross over, yeah. any two universes, no, 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 no. you probably get this a lot, but I'm going to say Star Trek and Star Wars. Yeah, because I, I think that would be hilarious. I, I'm feeling that. I'm feeling that. I think that would be kind of cool. Yeah. Like family feud in one end and then like yeah. yeah. And I'm a fan I'm a fan of both actually. So like, yeah, same, yeah, same. Yeah. The new movie's coming out this summer. Yeah. What are you looking forward to? I've got three girls at home, three little girls, kids, and uh, they're really into Captain Marvel, so I'm pretty stoked on Captain Marvel. So I am too. Yeah, so that's gonna be good. And Infinity. I, I, I like the Marvel movies. Yeah, I, I, the continuation of the Avengers, that's pretty That's pretty good. Yeah. That like cliffhanger, and the second one, no spoilers. <laughs> There's a cliffhanger. Everybody should know that by now. Yeah, if you haven't watched that, then why are you even watching this video? That's just a quick bait. I'll give you a quick bait for this video. Like, wait, why are you watching this? Like, yeah. <laughs> say Avengers spoilers, but it's from the movie, like, <laughs> oh, yeah. last time. <laughs> Avengers spoilers with Scorpion as the thumbnail, right? That'd be so From rude. last year. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you haven't seen it, it's still a spoiler. I played, uh, what's it called? Raiden. Oh, yeah, yeah. I had a cool Raiden. I have a Raiden costume that I played. Yeah, yeah. And the, from the fr I, I like the initial, like, the first 80s Raiden yeah. look. Yeah. The new the new game now, I'm not too big with that. No, sometimes when they revamp characters, it doesn't always pan out very well. So uh, they, they try to make it look really splashy and, and, and like, kind of like effects -y. Yeah, I kind of like Scorpion because, I mean, basically it was just like a... The ninja in the black, the, like onesie, and then you have this yellow kind of thing on. But uh, they kind of fleshed them out a little bit more in the early days. Yeah, yeah. but kind of kept the same. Thing. What's this one based on? Uh, this is Mortal Kombat. That's uh, the okay. So this is more recent. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And then uh, 11's coming out here pretty quick, so I'm pretty pumped about that. Do you have a? Do you actually have the the chain? Yeah. Well, I just oh. have this chain, and we just kind of. Spear at the end? It's a spear at the end. I don't have a spear. Yeah. Oh, you should got another one. Like have it wrapped around. You know, this this change for uh, it's just a cheapo chain, but it's great. It, it, it adds to it. It adds to it. It's like that artistic touch. Oh yeah, yeah. Just a little extra. And it's fun for photo ops because it'll wrap people up. Oh yeah, yeah. Spear yeah. them and they can hold it. And it's awesome. This summer's movies. Which one are you looking forward to? Well, like obviously Endgame, Avengers well, Endgame, yeah, but that's that's, that's, that's in May. Game. Summer, it's I think the game. only thing is Far From Home in summer. I don't know what else is coming well, out this summer. This, this year. Yeah, this okay. Year, sure. Endgame, End Avengers Endgame. Sure. Far From for sure. Home, yeah, for sure. Far From Home. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't like theaters, but those two I'll see in theater. Captain uh, Marvel? No, no, I don't know. I don't know. We'll I'm, see. I'm getting ups and downs with yeah. Captain Marvel. I don't know too much about the character. Like, uh, she kind of got in after I stepped away Wait, from at least. Marvel. Yeah, other than that, like, I'm waiting for Spider-Verse to come out on Blu-ray. I'm going to get that on Blu-ray. Just the animation looks amazing. So like good. they, they want, did it. They won Oscar. Yeah. Yeah. Because they did it in a 12 frame style. Because yeah, you can see. Yeah. It. That's like 2D animation style hand drawn. Whereas a lot of like 3D stuff is done 30 to 60 frames. Yeah. And that's how you get the motion sickness with 60 frames a second. I can see kids going, "What the heck? Why is it lagging?" <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Right. 
Because kids these days are used to like 1080, 4K, oh, yeah, right? Used to everything, but that's the that's the old school. Yeah, you, we're old school. Before all our eyes like, aren't that yeah. sharp like the kids these exactly. days. Yeah. Endgame is the one. Oh, Endgame. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Avengers. For sure. Avengers Endgame. for sure. How about uh, oh, Captain Marvel? Oh, no. uh, it it's leads like, up to oh, Endgame. Well, that's exactly. It's like you kind of have to just because it's like a stepping stone. Yeah. But like if anything. Endgame is the top of the pinnacle, and that's yeah. like a, just a step. They, they get you there. Marvel yeah. gets you there that way. Yeah. Two or three years ago, that's what should have came out. Not now. It's a bad time to come out in between. Yeah. They definitely need more female they do. movies. Yeah, right? Because Wonder Woman was... It was good. It was good. I I, I liked it. But I would have rather a black... Or uh, what's her face? Uh, black Widow one first before oh, Captain Marvel. Like her own movie. After Iron Man 2 and then, then Captain Marvel one seemed just so out of place just randomly coming out in yeah, the middle yeah, of... Yeah. We want to see Captain more Marvel. Wonder Woman. I don't know if that's coming out soon what, but Wonder Woman? we love Wonder Woman. I, I think there's there's going coming up but I don't think it's this year. Not, not year. anytime soon. Oh, you're watching Captain Marvel? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I think female superheroes are like super cool. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Power two girls. <laughs> if there were female ogres that were as cool as this two-headed guy, then we would do it. But <laughs> <laughs> it's so weird sitting right next to him. <laughs> He's got this, like there's one like right on my shoulder. Aww, he likes Other you. Other ones look at the camera. Oh, he likes you. <laughs> the last few Star Trek movies, good. Not good. I like the second one. Into Darkness. Yeah, that one, like yeah. the other ones were okay, but like the second one's the only one that I would consider like you know. <laughs> How about the older ones, like like the next gen? Um, yeah, I think the next gen's probably like my favorite that era, but although I went with like the original today, but yeah. I like the next gens. Yeah. That's, that's my. That's first... what I grew up with, right? Yeah, same, yeah. same, same. <laughs> Captain Picard, make yeah. it so. I love that. Exactly. That meme with the snow. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's so good. Out of all the Star Trek characters, which one's your favorite? Probably Data. I just relate to Data a lot. <laughs> I think I'm like part robot myself, so... Do you ever that one where he uh, started laughing hysterically at like everything? Like he, he had emotions, the emotional trip. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah. And he was... And, it was like he, drugs, right? Like. <laughs> yeah, it was like yeah. drugs. It was like he was high. <laughs> give, give emotions. So you can feel and all that stuff. Feel sad, happy. Ang was he angry? Yeah, he was angry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And then in, in the movie, in the Star Trek Next Generation movie, he had emotions, and he used them for fighting too. And it was interesting. Also, a long time ago. Yeah. <laughs> for the young viewers. No, no. Is it better this year? It was better when it was in that venue over there. <laughs> this venue kind of is like, it's a little bit less organized. Where the, all the uh, sessions are, there, it's in the open. Like, you can hear all the panels going yeah. on at once. Like, yeah, like, I, my favorite thing used to be the sketch battles, but, like, you can't even, like, hear the people and, yeah. <laughs> What's it been like? Has it been good? Oh. It's kind of, like, had its ups and downs over the years. It's quiet this round, and I kind of like it that way. It's good for us, though, because we, we're moving around, and it's like... I know. If it's shoulder to shoulder, you're not in no space. You're to not go getting in. squished yeah. anymore trying to walk through the different aisles. Yeah. There's less people lining up for the um, celebrity. Yeah, that's a lot less people there. Yeah. How has it progressed <laughs> or deprogressed? Uh, do we really want to get into that right now? <laughs> Give me like a 30 second summary. The I, first I like one was pretty decent, the second one was okay, and then it just slowly nose dived hard. Oh. So, like, I don't know. Why do you think so? I don't know. They kind of just like... Management? Management. Maybe. Like it just, they put it in one giant room. We're in the basement of a building. Like they, Location is everything. They got to move it back over to the other yeah, side. Old, old school. That place was so much better. So much better. Isolated sessions and... Lower. A convention's a convention. So as long as we keep having them here, it's pretty good. It's keep it coming to Vancouver. It's always fun. I think this year though, uh, I heard it's just kind of like it sprung up out of nowhere, right? Yeah. So, but ah, whatever, like, I have a good time no matter what. I found some really cool wares. My buddy met his childhood hero, Lando. Everyone's you, a winner. Yeah, you make use of it, right? Whatever. Yeah. It's not too bad. Like, I love it, it, yeah. It's pretty good.